<sighs> I always look funny when I'm laying down with my neck. How about now? Does it look better? Anyways, I am laying in my bed right now. Oh, do you see my uh, Sailor Moon wand? Oh. Yeah, I am. I had to switch positions as I was laying down that way and now I'm up this way. I'm in so much pain. Not enough to where I'll cry, not enough to where it'll make me puke, not like last year, but I hurt. I hurt a lot right now and I would like to. I want to get up and do things. The weather is nice and this is a rarity, you know, for Florida. The field is great and like I just want to go outside and do things and. Every time I move around, it just hurts. So I'm just laying in my bed, but my back is like, yo, you've been laying down too long, son. Get up. I don't know what to do. I'm just stuck here in my bed. Sick as fuck, man. It sucks today. All right. So I finally got out of the bed and now I'm able to do a little bit. I just stopped hurting like a little while ago and I finally decided I was gonna go ahead and get out of the bed I think I'll be okay to go to work this week I hope hopefully when I wake up on Thursday I'll be all right so my dinner is really light I literally have not eaten anything but a banana like today and I had like some water and that's it like I have not been able to do much today but anyway so I'm just gonna have a baked potato I've got some olives on my baked potato um, there's some vegan cheese in there but it already kind of melted because I put it in the microwave and more guacamole now i found another brand of guacamole it's also kind of expensive good foods there's no dairy in this one either and it's actually a much thicker consistency than the last one that i had and it actually tastes good and there's like other stuff in like beans and corn and there's tomatoes and stuff in this um but i made sure to read the ingredients and there's definitely no dairy in here or eggs so that's definitely good. I'm glad because the last one was delicious, but it was so watery that every time I put it on my, my beans and rice, it just made basically soup. <laughs> so that's it. That's all my dinner is going to be right now because I'm not really like I feel so nauseous that eating is just kind of uh, but I know I need to eat to make sure that I'm, you know, healthy. So that's all I'm going to have. Well, actually, I might have some crackers as well, but we'll see about that. Let me morning guys it is almost 7 30 i have been trying to i have been trying so hard to vlog this part since like 6 50. it's taking so long because i keep going on and on and changing the subject anyways neither here nor there i'm gonna try to make this fast um in two months in a week i have to move out of here I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to live in a car, if I'm going to get rent or rents a room. If I live in my car, the downside to living in my car is not being able to stretch my legs as much as I want to um, and being cooped up in a really small space for a long period of time. But if the, the, the positive to that is that it'll actually force me to actually go outside and maybe take a walk. Maybe I can jog or actually do some outside activities, work out a little bit. Um, it might force me to do that because I need something to force me to stay exercising because I, I'm like, oh, I work so much. I don't need to work out, you know. Um, the other drawback to living in my car is that I will be awkwardly going into my job to brush my teeth. <laughs> Um, I guess I could find a way to brush my teeth in my car and then just like, you know, <laughs> expel the extra liquids because I mean, I'll be buying a ton of water, so I might as well. That's the other thing that's going to be awkward is having to awkwardly go into my job and use the toilet. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a little bit awkward. Um, but anyways, I then really that's it. There's really nothing negative, nothing really negative that I can think about other than maybe some safety issues. But <clears throat> the parking lot of where I work is incredibly safe. There are cameras everywhere and there's security. So <clears throat> I don't have to worry so much about that because that's the only place that I'll be staying if I want to sleep somewhere. I, I won't be going anywhere else but there. So and that's the other thing, too. I don't have to spend any gas. The only time I'll be spending gas is when I'm dropping home one of my friends. So that's going to be awkward because then he's going to figure out 
hey, you're staying in your car. And I'd be like, yep. Um, now, the positive to me staying in my car is, like I said, the whole exercising thing. If I don't want to be cramped up, force myself to go take a walk and I'll be playing Pokemon Go like crazy. <laughs> um, but I'll be able to finally put together a savings because I won't be paying rent and I won't be paying a, a light bill. Those two things will be gone. So I'll finally have a savings that I can build up and won't see it just shrivel away and disappear. Of course, the first month's going to be kind of hard because there's somebody that I have to pay back. So I'll be paying her back. I want to pay her back before I leave Florida because I plan to leave Florida um, and go on an adventure for a while. But um, I'll be paying her back first. But of course... I mean, it's still not really going to hurt me too much. I'm still going to be able to save money um, because I can pay her back in one go and call it a day. And then that's it. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. The other positive. Um, well, actually, that's the biggest and most important positive. The other positive is that I'm basically free. And that's that's the most important thing to me is to just be free. Um, now, if I stay with someone, the negative to that is paying the bills. I would have to pay bills and I would have to deal with their noise. And, you know, I work at night, which means I'll be sleeping in the day, which means they're going to be up and weak and basically keeping me awake. Um, where the parking lot of my job is completely silent until people come out of work, but it's their long 10 hour shifts. So I've got a good 10 hours to sleep and then wake up, get dressed. And as people are coming, I'm going in and clocking in. So it's not that, you know, big of a deal, right? Um, but if I live with someone, I have to deal with their noise, their funky smells, the weird things they cook, uh, the, the arguments that might happen, um, ac the, the awkward moments where you accidentally see someone naked and things like that. And I don't want to deal with any of that. Honestly, I really don't want to deal with any of that. Um, I love being by myself and that's so important to me that I can continue to be by myself. I know when I move to another state temporarily I will be living with someone but it won't be forever um so there's that the only positive to, to moving in with someone is if uh if it turns out that I have to have surgery on my kidneys I will have a place to actually rest hopefully I don't need surgery because I don't want to go that route at all um so yeah that's the only positive everything else could be taken care of still living in my car no problem um so yeah, guys, I haven't quite decided which way I'm going to go. I'm leaning more towards my car, but I'm not so sure. Um, the draw, uh, There is another drawback to living in my car, and it's uh, the possibility of having to deal with somebody else that also lives in his or her car and might bother me and talk to me all day when I just really want to sleep. So that that's a negative there. I would have to have a conversation with that person. But, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe I could just, you know, I could probably just stay silent about it and just not say anything and go to a different part of the parking lot. But anyways, so guys, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next clip. I hope this vlog doesn't, this vlog is probably going to be really long, so I'm really sorry if it is. All right, so really quickly, I'm going to let you know what I'm about to eat for breakfast. Yes, it's in my lap. I'm sorry. Um, So this is scrambled tofu with a little bit of almond nuts on it. And I have some Southwest guacamole on there, um, tofu uh, bacon, and a piece of banana, and then a baked potato, another baked potato. Um, I'm just trying to get through the baked potatoes because they started sprouting, or the potatoes because they started sprouting, so I want to hurry up and get rid of those. I have like six left, too, so that's going to be a lot of potatoes this week. Um, and that's basically all I'm eating. The almonds kind of got everywhere. I opened the jar, and it just kind of like spilled all over my plate, so... It is currently covered in almonds, <laughs> but that's all I'm going to have. I also currently am drinking a glass of, not Lifesavers, a glass of um, grapefruit juice for my kidneys, and that's about it for now. So yeah, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and enjoy this breakfast. <sighs> I'm getting ready to go to work before I end this vlog because I realize that this vlog is going to be long as hell. Right now, I'm just making pasta. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So I'm a little pissed off right now because I am trying to pay my first month's premium for my health insurance and I can't because their site will not load the pay page. And on top of, on top of it not wanting to load, load the pay page, it won't even let me make an account. <laughs> How did I sign up for the insurance and not have an account?
Apparently, because it was two different websites, so two different accounts are needed. I'm a little frustrated about this situation, and I can't pay for it, and I, it has to be paid by the first. It's got to be paid for by the first. The first is on Tuesday. How, how am I going to do this? I even called, and I'm just getting robots after robots after robots. All I'm getting are robots, and it doesn't even give me the option to pay my first month's premium on the phone. It's just like, would you like a copy of your card? Would you like to use our touchscreen option? The end. I'm like, no, I want to talk to a fucking human being so I can pay this fucking premium because I can't fucking pay my premium. This is pissing me off. Adult life. It kind of sucks. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. And, uh, yeah.